Morning guys! Welcome to Coffee Chat! Mm -hmm. Guys, I have to admit that was not my first sip this morning because we had to get up a little bit early and Judy had to run around, do some errands and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm tagging along and, you know, doing the coffee chat in the car. Anyhow, guys, what we're seeing today, boy, I'll tell you what, does this say at all? Bank of Canada just dropped their interest rates by 25 basis points guys it has started 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 you are going to watch and see all of these major nations around the world dropping their interest rates right because of course guys the narrative is oh we got inflation under control and we know they don't have it under control not in the least little bit but it does not matter there is a major major disconnect from the economy and the market you watch and see they're going to continue to start dropping rates the european central bank's going to do it the federal reserve is going to do it we have been talking about it for a long time and these bank rates are coming down. Why, guys? Because they are going to pump this market like you have not seen. In fact, if <laughs> the way I kind of look at it, guys, it is going to go crazy. And if you watch equities fly off and the DXY start to go down like that, and you watch these digital assets, they are going to literally explode. And we have been out there and we have been saying, this is coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Despite all the talk when they come out and say, well, you know, we're gonna be a little, you know, hawkish here. We're not really gonna, baloney, baloney. Guys, they cannot wait to literally start the printing press up all over again. And you got the Fed out there and absolutely buying the debt market like absolute crazy. There is no way that this is institutional buying coming up there, sucking up all the debt and everything like that when you're looking at the bond market and things like that. That is the Fed that's doing that, guys. The Treasury came out there and they committed that what were they gonna do? They're gonna buy up you know, all the debts, do a big buyback. Where, oh, where is the treasury coming up with the money to actually get that done in reality, right? We all know they don't have it. I mean, look, the treasury, I mean, if you see the balance sheet, I mean, what, they're in the trillions of dollars of debt. Obviously, it's the never ever plan. And of course, they just go to their friendly neighborhood Federal Reserve, punch a few numbers and pop, pop, pop. There it is. And that's exactly what's going. You're just seeing a dog and pony show, guys. They're letting you believe, you know, all this narrative out there and everything like that now do you think that the that the average folks are gonna see some relief from the interest rates and the higher prices that they're paying for products and things like that not on your life has the economy really turned around are people getting called back into work for jobs that they were laid off nope they're not are folks out there really hurting as credit card debt just outrageous for retail yep it is how about the default rates on that credit card debt oh my goodness record record defaults what about car repossessions how home foreclosures guys off the richter scale in fact 40 percent of american households would be classified as the working poor and yet they're trying to sell this narrative that the economy has turned around they have inflation under control. Now they can stop dropping interest rates and things like that. That is just such baloney. But of course, that's the narrative. And this is the way they want it, guys. And you just have to see what's coming down the pike. Now, having said that, one of the big deals that is going on right now is this marshalling to war that they have got us going on. Yep. And guys, what is one of the biggest economic engines that they have ever ever conceived is the military industrial complex you had better believe it you want to see talk about turning on the presses and things like that it gives them every excuse they absolutely need to just start firing it up like totally crazy print 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 because these central banks the only thing the only bullet in their gun is inflate 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 until they literally blow this entire economy and everything to kingdom come and then of course they're gonna show up and with a whole new system that they have been laying the groundwork for for a long long time guys it's kind of like this 
it's kind of like having a bunch of acres out there and you know you got an old house on it that's been a great house you've lived in that house and had lots of memories in the house and everything like that but now you're out there and you're building a new one and you you know you almost got the whole thing ready to go and once it's all complete and you're ready to move in hey demolition on the old house right that's exactly what they're going to be doing guys they're going to demolish this current system for this new system and that's why I'm out there telling you, and a lot of other folks too, by the way, out there sharing with you about what to do, what you can do to ready yourself for what's coming. You do not have to be a victim in all of this. You can actually be a, you know, an overcomer. You can actually prosper in a situation. Do you realize if you look back historically, and I would encourage you to go and, you know, fact check this and Google it and get back out there, but go and look up how many millionaires were minted during the Great Depression. Depression. Yep, during the Great Depression. Guys, in this next economic downturn, there are going to be lives changed. Yes, a lot for the negative, but there are going to be some that are going to see generational wealth change that most people have not even imagined. I absolutely believe that because what we're transitioning into, and, and just when you think of it, think about this capacity. If you had been there back in the day, and it wasn't that long ago, really, you know, I remember my dad, he had given me, and I've shared this before, he gave me this Timex Sinclair computer, you know, it only had 8K of RAM, and you know, you would take 30 minutes using a tape deck to load a program, you know, take 30 minutes to load the thing, and this and that and whatever. And you know what, most people miss, miss that whole big boom of the home computer thing, why? Because it was just a novelty. They didn't even see, you know, what was coming down the road. If they had thrown just a few bucks into some little known companies like Microsoft, Wow, generational wealth. How about when the internet was burgeoning there? And you know, you see all these businesses like Amazon, like Google, like this and that, just a little bit of, you know, dipping your toe in the water would have just, if you had a set it and forgot it, would have revolutionized your lives. And of course, the granddaddy of them all. When Bitcoin came out back there, 2009, Bitcoin came on the scene. By 2010, 11, it was like only about 30 cents. Now, can you fathom if you had to just put like $1,000 into it and just forgot about it, you would be literally loaded. I mean, we're talking deck of millions if not hundreds of millions now generational wealth guys i genuinely believe that this digital asset space represents an opportunity for generational wealth i genuinely do believe that why because of the fundamentals what the world is transitioning into i mean we are looking around the wide world what are we getting legislation for decentralized digital identities central bank digital currencies coming for almost every nation on earth and in rapid pace we're seeing the adoption of you know, all these guys that poo pooed, you know, Bitcoin and everything else. Remember Rat Poison Square with Warren Buffett and all that. Now you got BlackRock and all of them just clamoring to get these exchange traded funds out there, Ethereum exchange trade fund. And just yesterday, Brad Garlinghouse on there on Fox News saying, hey, an XRP ETF in inevitable and he believes it's going to happen in 2025 not only that brad garlinghouse said this digital asset space by the end of this year will be in the multiple trillions of dollars of value you heard that right guys don't miss it get out there do yourself a favor really really research it at least you owe yourself that much if it turns out after you've looked into it that it's not for you then hey a-okay but you can look back and say well i at least looked into it don't be one of those guys that said yeah you know i got a story someone told me about this or that or whatever and i just kind of slept on it my bias we all have a bitcoin story and i'll tell you what judy will never let me live ours down because she was asking me whether or not we should get into bitcoin Bitcoin. Well, because of what I was doing for work, I was drinking the Kool-Aid, you know. In fact, I they had me serving it up when I was telling people, you know, hey, look, you know, the digital assets race, because back then, you know, I was investigating and working in the underground economy as a investigator with Canada Revenue Agency and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, people I was investigating, you know, drug dealers, you know, tax cheaters and the like and on and on and on. And so I just, my bias just kept me away from it. Missed out on one of the greatest life-changing opportunities that we have ever, ever seen. Well, guys, I'll tell you what, 
I'm not missing this one. I certainly don't want you to miss it. That's why I'm sharing what I'm sharing. I'm getting out there telling you as, with as much transparency as possible while still remaining safe, you know, in this space, but letting you know how it changed our lives and that there's real potential opportunity down the road. Now, this next week, I'm going to be down there at the Quantum Summit. And my topic is going to be on the global money supply and tokenization. And guys, the information that, that I'm going to lay down there, I'm telling you, if you're able to go, you get yourself there. It is going to be something else. What eye-opening information is going to be available is truly wild. Now, when I get back, I'll probably end up doing, you know, a big video on it and stuff like that for those that aren't able to attend. But if you're able to see it live, I'm telling you, this is really amazing information that is genuinely you know absolutely can be fact checked guys things are changing it's changing so so fast and it's going to change even faster than what most people think and we're just seeing it right now bank of canada dropping the interest rate by 25 basis points you just watch the dominoes fall bang 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 it is going to be something else and i really do believe that this market is going to go on up absolutely amazing tear like what most people haven't even thought that is genuinely how i feel about it guys buckle up we're in for an amazing ride and i'll tell you what until later on today when we have a fabulous video for you have a great one and take care